All of that is free. So let me show you the best app that I found so far. As you can see, it's working straight over Bluetooth. So let's use this to log in as well. I will show you the complete walkthrough with this phone right here. So let's get right to it. Initiating. Welcome back. Welcome back to my daily grind. Create yourself is what you'll find me doing every day and every night. No time to lose one day, one step in the right direction. I'm Chris and I'm only here to show you if I can do it, you can do it too. Welcome back to the vlog, it is Sunday in our day, and our chance to push hard and the topic for this vlog is how to use an Android device as a Bluetooth keyboard without server software and stuff like that. And also you can use it as a mouse, so let's get it. By the way, all the tutorials and life hacks are right here, watch them all, but before we get started, love goes out to all my subscribers, thank you for making my love special and worth living to the max, so let me try to give back with a sweet, sweet video. So I had this problem, I got a new device, this new mini PC, I got tired of using the on-screen keyboard i also got this other tablet thingy with a keyboard and i thought hey it's an android device there just has to be a way to use this as a keyboard for this mini pc the mini pc has bluetooth and for sure there was all of that is free so let me show you the best app that i found so far for this exact purpose let's get right to it for this demo i will use this mini pc that's hooked up to my tv so let's turn it on and I will use this Android tablet. Oh, that's perfect timing, as always. This is the mini desktop, if you're wondering. Okay, here we go, here we go. Ah, oh, just Windows things. And this device, of course, has Bluetooth integrated. All right, here we go. So let's open up the app. Let's go to the settings, devices, and click on use this device. And as you can see, it's working right off the bat. Now, I obviously paired this beforehand and I will show you all of that, but now let's continue with the demo, so. Let's log in. As you can see, it's working straight over Bluetooth. Boom. I can use the trackpad on the keyboard. I can use the keyboard itself. And you can also do it with the, with the touchpad. Search bar. And you can just type stuff. And it's working pretty good. And now I will show you how to do it. I will show you the complete walkthrough with this phone right here. So let's get right to it. Open up the Play Store and the app is called Bluetooth Keyboard and Mouse. When you just type in Bluetooth Keyboard, just Bluetooth Keyboard, this should do. And it's this one on top. Boom. So some of the guys, they complain that they need to reconnect from scratch every time. But so far I did not have this issue. So let's install this app. And of course, when you do this the first time, you need to hook up a USB mouse or something like that and use the on-screen keyboard. But once you have it connected once, then it will work even when you start it up, as you saw. So let's open the app, allow. And now we also need to, okay, Bluetooth is active and location as well. So let's go there. Let's type in Bluetooth, open up the Bluetooth and other devices. Using this as a mouse is still a pain in the butt, but it's perfect for a keyboard, but I like a dedicated Bluetooth mouse is obviously way better. But yeah, goes without saying, I guess. Let's click on add Bluetooth or other device. Come on. Okay, that's better. Bluetooth. Now it's scanning. And now in the app we will click, we need to click on add device and then click on search device. And then as you can see, it already found it. It's a desktop and right here it's the, it's a Redmi Note 10. And I will click in the app on the desktop Click on yes, allow the pairing, come on. Connection failed. Let's try that again. Search device once more. It's the desktop. This time I will click on pair here first. And now I will click on yes. Connection succeeded. Okay, so now we, whoa. Now we actually have two. Both devices are working. As you can see, I can move the mouse with this one and I can also move the mouse with this one. But now we've introduced a bit of lag, at least on the tablet. Yeah, there is a bit of lag. So I will delete, well, I will close this app. I'm now only going to use the phone. And as you can see here, you can confirm it, it's moving. So that's great. So I'm now using it as a mouse pad, as you can see right here close. Oh my goodness, this is actually not too bad. Close that one as well. There is a bit of lag, but it's even usable as a mouse. That is funny. Okay, but the keyboard, that's the interesting thing, is up here 
Boom, click on the keyboard, select your language. Let's go for the friend, for the German layout. Okay, let's open up the search and let's search for, oh, let's go. Hello, that's perfect. Well, let's go for the ultimate test again. Let's close this app. Oh, rip, now I can't shut down the PC. I wanted to restart the PC, but I need to do it over the app, of course. Let's open the app again. Oh, and here we go, it's back online. Let's go for the ultimate test. Let's restart this PC controlling it over the app actually and now let's close the app as well as you can see all apps are closed will it work with the phone as well from a restart let's find out so let's open up this app again oh my goodness and it's immediately connected so this phone has a higher bluetooth version i think it's 5.0 while this tablet right here i think it's like something for four plus or something like that if i remember this correctly it connected automatically that is awesome so let's use this to log in as well and hit enter boom damn that is so cool and again you can use both simultaneously <laughs> i know that's good that's great to know but yeah this concludes my little tutorial right here so as you saw in my case everything worked out perfectly fine even when i turn on the pc login i just need to click on connect on the android device and then i can instantly use the keyboard login and it's like Mwah, it's perfect no server software required and it's free and yeah you can also use it as a mouse you can use the trackpad i was just into the keyboard stuff but yeah anyways i hope this was helpful it helped me a ton but yeah that's it for this one smash a like button the way you will smash yourself when you buy a bluetooth keyboard before watching this video <laughs> bring the bell like crap to never miss tutorials and life hacks and check the recent news on chrisviral.com and yeah that's it for today i will see you tomorrow